Hello, and welcome to another week at the bungalow. This week we're starting the rear deck. So this is above the kitchen area outside the first bedroom to give us a balcony. So up till now we've just had the parapet wall built by the bricklayer. So a bit of cleaning up required as we've basically been using it as a dumping ground for bits of old rubble, bits of old timber, scaffold bolt and everything else. As you can see underneath the tarpaulin we've got some 12mm, 9mm ply just been used as a working area when we've been doing the outside and we'll keep using that for a bit so this is all sort of sacrificial or it's going to get used for shuttering and all sorts of other things but we need to do a measure up we've got stuff to order stuff to go and get so we can get on with the project so the plan of action is to build the as were internal wall of the two skin brickwork on the parapet all the way around the outside of the balcony here we've got an intersecting wall coming through this is going to support the glass balustrading uh, this has to be 1.8 tall uh, that's planning consent has uh, specified that so i'm making it pretty beefy plenty of um, upright supporting it and the idea of making it out of the timber is we can screw down directly into the timber for the ballast raiding rather than having to screw anything into the block work only because it's obviously single skin and pretty pretty wafty in as much as it's just sort of sitting there on the edge of the steel work it's obviously been tied back into the deck but that's the idea behind it so this is really the structure that's going to be holding the ballast raiding So the water will be draining as you can see it from now from right to left and there's going to be a gutter running all the way along this left hand wall down to a drain which is basically where the camera is now. We've decided to use the same uh, waterproofing system on this uh, deck as we did on the main flat roof above bedrooms one and two. So that'd be the Ultraflex paint on system, the same as we did before with the fiberglass reinforcement. We found it worked really well on the main roof. We haven't had any major problems. And it manages, it goes around all the different angles and the upstands of things like windows we've got another roof light on this deck as well the other side of that sort of internal parapet wall that's the plan anyway and the main difference would be that we'll fill the joints in all of the boards uh, rather than just doing the sort of bigger ones we'll make sure we fill every single joint because we found that uh, the uh, liquid can tend to sort of run in between the boards and you sort of lose that uh, nice smooth finish and you end up having to go over it again so that's the sort of biggest difference a bit more a bit more in the prep work so we're continuing around using 100 by 50 timbers just to make the structure screwed down into the deck up stands all screwed together and then once we've done all the framing work we'll be cladding out with 9mm OSB this will obviously get the waterproof layer of the ultra flex and on the, then on the internals for the balcony area would be I put in the concrete board and this will be getting rendered just to give it a nice finish. And then we've got this area here that's a bit of a pain got the pitch roof coming down onto the flat roof so it took a few a little while of uh, thinking about and chatting about to sort of try and work out how we're going to do it but we're trimming back the block work here so we can get some timber work in 
the timber work the timber wall is going to run in front and then we've got the tiles running underneath so there's going to be like a gap in the brickwork and then it's time for the large roof light to go in it's a meter by meter and a half we pre-made this back at home glued and screwed it all together so it's nice and rigid and nice and square and then it gets glued down onto the framing we tend to glue down all the furrings and anything like this and then the board gets glued down onto the furrings and we're ventilating across the roof so from as you look at it left to right or along the roof here so above the insulation that'll be in between the rafters up above and into the furrings as it were so this is why the furrings run this way rather than running along the joists and then we'll have ventilation holes in the upstand of the parapet wall so at this stage of the build we're trying to get the structure wall to tie it we've obviously got the main roofs done we've got a bit of work to do around the chimney on the tiling and there's some lead work that you'll see later that we've got to get done but really we're uh, getting the, the the main structure watertight so that we can get the windows in there due in a couple of weeks time so we need to get this roof done because we've got bifolding doors going in the area down below Scaffold is due to arrive any time because he's going to take down the scaffolding now that we've got the the other boxing done and the and most of the roof work done. So I think we've got seven or eight furrings going across the roof and they're going up in height by about a centimetre each one. So we've got a fall across the roof of around 70-80 centimetres over the two and a half metres across the roof. And then we drop down into a gutter that will run along this right hand edge all the way along to a, a drain and hopper at the end. So for that we'll have those the, the sort of cut furrings cut diagonally. So there's some blocks going in place just to give us the extra height. Plenty of glue. The old expanding glue is marvellous. It's just uh, absolutely terrible when you get it on your tools and on your hands. It all dries black and awful. But the holes in the timber work are getting spade bitted down so we can get the screws as, sort of about halfway down through the timber so we don't get too much rocking. So with that done, it's on to panelling out the sides of the upstand of the parapet. As I said, we're using 9mm OSB. So this once again gets glued on, screwed in place, all the way around the outside to give it the upstand. And there you can see we've got the sort of identical heights of the two walls, which will get a bit of 18mm across the top of it, which will end up having the capping on just to waterproof it. Last bit of parapet wall upstand going into place. Over in the corner here where the pitch roof comes down onto the flat. Then we've got to clad it out with the OSB to give it an upstand. Here you can see the final cladding of the roof light. This is giving some light down into the lounge area in the family room. Bit of a pain because it was all different angles but worth the effort. And got it completed. Next week, continuing with the flat roof, we'll be getting the uh, 18mm OSB decking on in place and then uh, ultra flex in the roof. But for this week, 
Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again on the next one.